Dude, this is so cool. Oh! What the hell? Bro, uh-uh, uh-uh. Bro, ah, what the? No, 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 Dude, no, what the no, 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 hell no. Oh, uh, guys, I'm hearing like what sounds like a music box coming from upstairs. Hello? It's coming from that room. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh. You all right, bro? James. James. Oh, James. Dude, he's like passed out. Bro, are you, are you okay? Hello? Twenty twenty three was a crazy year for the channel. We visited some of the scariest and creepiest locations and had some horrifying experiences. What you're about to watch is a very long video filled with our top ten scariest and creepiest moments of twenty twenty three. It was hard to just pick ten because we've had so damn many, but I narrowed it down and it was very difficult. But these are some horrifying experiences. Like we start on a very high note. Number 10 is crazy in itself and it only gets crazier as the list progresses. So I just want to quickly say thank you so much for an amazing 2023. You know, it, we've had some ups, we've had some downs, but I just want to say thank you so much for sticking by me through it all. I really appreciate it. And here's to 2024. I hope we have some more crazy and scary moments as wild as that sounds. I'd love to make these videos and I'm gonna to continue to do so. So thank you very, very much. And to say thank you for an amazing year, I'm gonna be giving away five $100 Visa gift cards and tons of signed unreleased merch. If you wanna participate, all you gotta do is comment hashtag 2024 and be subscribed to the channel. If you want your name to be entered two times into the giveaway, simply just share this video on any social media platform, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that's it, you're entered. Good luck and thank you so much for your support. Also, the full videos to each clip that you're going to see in this video will be down in the description below. They will all be numbered and linked, so you can easily just go find that video. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys can smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and uh, let's get on with number 10. So in number 10, Ben and I were invited to investigate a house where there was reports of paranormal activity going on. However, they couldn't really pinpoint where it was coming from. So we decided to do an initial walkthrough of the house and this happened. Ross? Ross called me. Yeah, I agree. We were executed. We were executed. Who was executed? That was really quick. It's a nice little living room area. Uh, Ben? What, what the f was that? What was what? It's not like it came from this. Hello? Who's there? I'm not exactly sure if it came from that door or that. Okay, well, I'll tell you right now because I can see it from this angle. That door is open, bro. It didn't take long for whatever energy was there to show itself to us. You could already sense some sort of negative entity in the area. And it didn't take long for it to do things like this. Who's in there? Ah! Oh. Okay. Uh, don't rush the room. Fuck, bro. Ah. Are you? Are you did he yes. Get... Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah. Fuck. Bro. Oh. Bro, you're like fucking him. Ah, uh, it's all good. Ah. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, bro. What the fuck did that just? There's no f***ing way. Spearbug just said ha ha laughing in our faces, bro. That's funny to you? Holy sh**, bro. As you can tell by my scream, I was absolutely horrified. At this moment in my head, I had no idea what to think, what to believe, but as you can see, it was very strong. If it's strong enough to do that, then it may be something of a poltergeist. And I was scared, but I decided to continue on. And 
Believe it or not, it only gets worse as the night progresses because around 3 o'clock in the morning, this happened. It's 3.37 in the f***ing morning, what the f*** is that? Please tell me this is a fucking dream, it's not a dream. Oh, oh, I'm losing my mind. It's the fucking clock. You stay right there. Wake up, please! Holy sh! Sorry, sorry! What? What? Do you not hear this? I, yes, I hear it. It just felt like everything was going wrong and all at once. It felt as if I stayed there any longer. Things just would have ended very poorly for the both of us. So we left, and I'm very glad we did. But that's only the 10th scariest and creepiest clip of 2023. Uh, here we go into number nine. This is a location that I call the record player house. It's pretty self-explanatory, but we were invited to investigate another home that was also dealing with paranormal activity. However, unlike the home that you just saw in number 10, this house was dealing with it in a very different way. We got a weird door that's like a wall, but also a door. I'm gonna check on that in a sec. Oh, you got family photos. It's cute. Okay. Let's uh let's take a look here. Okay. That's the basement. Okay. Got it. Well, we'll get to that. At some point. Fallen. Fallen? Who, uh... Who's fallen? Maybe it's, uh, Scott? Or... There's another door there. Okay. I can't tell. Did that come from the kitchen? Okay. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just gonna... Oh shit, there's a room over here. 
As Ben was doing the initial walkthrough of the home, it didn't take long for him to experience and hear some strange noises. However, he continued on further, and that's when things just ramped up zero to a hundred. Okay. I have no idea where the fuck that came from. another room our family photo okay all the clocks are wrong here they all say different times the fuck is there's a light on there's a light on Okay, now it's off. That light's motion. Oh shit, why is it? I shut the door, right? No, I shut the door. I definitely did. Okay. Charlotte. Oh, f what the? F what the? F oh. Oh, fuck, I do not like this. Okay, so for the motion light to go off, you'd have to be that close. Something was standing right here. Something set the light off, holy shit. For that to happen even once is crazy. And it's very hard to even blame it on faulty wiring or, honestly, it's hard to blame anything because it's such an antique, you know? It, it's a very specific form of music. And for it, like I said, for it to happen once is crazy. For it to happen twice, on the other hand. What's that? Anyway, this is a. Uh... And then all the lights went out. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. I mean, honest, guys, I do not want to go back up there. I don't want to do this. <sighs> the motion light's not working now or something? Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Is that you? It did not just fucking do that. It went off the needle on its own. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Well, that was <laughs> terrifying. As you can see, it was a beautiful ranch style home. However, there was something strange going on. I'm not exactly sure if whatever was messing with us was just trying to scare us, maybe just trying to play tricks with us. But as you saw, I wasn't there with Ben. Ben was alone and you didn't see it in this clip, but in the full video, when we initially walked into the house, I felt drained like that. I felt great and then just it went downhill quick. I needed to sit down, I needed to get some fresh air, and that's why Ben agreed to do the initial walkthrough. And yeah, um, just like I felt down that night, I'm kinda, I feel like I need a little bit of a drink right now. So I'm actually gonna go grab a drink. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna let this play for you. Happy New Year's everyone. I'm currently enjoying my new favorite wine called Humdrum. You know, I had no idea what Humdrum was up until about a week ago when it arrived in the mail, thanks to today's sponsor, Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine club that uses real scientific data to match you with wine that is suited for your taste buds. Bright Cellars started with a simple idea. Finding wine you love shouldn't be so difficult, and their method is extremely simple, yet effective. You take a seven question wine quiz that will match you with wines that you'll love based on your responses. The best part about it is not having to spend an eternity at that scary wine aisle and instead having it delivered straight to your door. The packaging is incredible and informative, coming with wine cards to help you learn about each bottle. And if you don't end up liking a certain bottle, your Bright Cellars concierge will replace it for you. Tons of events are coming up, so if you're hosting parties or having people over, Bright Cellars is here to help. And if you don't drink or if you're doing dry January, for example, Bright Cellars has non-alcoholic options too. For a limited time only, get your first six bottle subscription box, normally a $150 value, for only $55. Click the link down in the description below, take the wine quiz and get started today. And thank you so much, Bright Cellars, for sponsoring today's video. Here we go into number eight and this next clip, oh my God, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. It felt as if this house was an energy in itself. It felt as if this house was tormenting me. I was alone when this was happening and things were just, everything was just going wrong. Let's go take a little, little wrap around the house, uh, the basement. And then also I got in contact with the homeowners and remember there is a locked room upstairs that leads to the attic. The homeowners will be stopping by later today and dropping off the key for the attic. So I'm pretty excited about that, probably later on in the night. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm saying that, but all right, uh, let's go take a loop around. So Spirit, you mentioned that she's dangerous. Can you uh, clarify who she is? That damn basement. That shit's so creepy even during the daytime, guys. This place is just one hell of a feeling. I was gonna say, I have a feeling that there's literally something in this room. Yep, there's like two. What the f is that? What the f is that? Deep. Deep. Am I in too deep? Bro, what the f is that? Oh, uh, guys, I'm hearing like what sounds like a music box coming from upstairs. Hello? It's coming from that room. Oh, I don't like this at all. Who's in there? Joy. Does music give you joy?
Okay, guys. I'm trying not to freak out right now and just run out of this house right now. But let me tell you something. I have a really bad feeling right now. It's fucking daytime. I just want to reiterate, it is daytime. First thing I get on the spear box today, she's dangerous. Followed by help me. Who was the one that opened this box? I said, let me rest. So earlier we got help me. Maybe they need help to get to the other side. Could be it. I'm going to wait for it to see. Further. I'm going to take a complete look around this place because... It's like a baby's crib. Okay. You stay right there. Please tell me that this damn door is still locked. I hope to God this thing is still... Okay. Because, yo, if I came into this place and that thing wasn't, I would... Horror. Right when I'm touching that damn door, it says horror. So I can only imagine, after already hearing the things that I heard from, like, up there and whatnot... see quick guys let me tell you something it hello filming. filming uh yes i'm filming it was over there okay i'm shitting my pants right now Thundering still. Beard. Beard. I know you're not talking about me. I can barely grow one. All right. Um, guys. I'm almost positive that those doors were open. Who's in there? Eyes. Who's in there? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. The door. Oh, oh okay. F this. F this. No. No. Who's up there?
this man. Pose myself. Hello? Encounter. What kind of encounter? Am I encountering her? The person that you said was dangerous? Is she in the attic? where we slept last night. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Who's there? Who's up there? Do you have a name? Kasir. Yo, I've heard that before. Like, funny enough, I've heard that before. Um, but you know what? Enough's enough. I literally cannot with this place. I cannot with this place right now. And I'm supposed to spend the next 24 hours here alone? Yeah, good fucking luck, Jazz. All right, I need a break. This place is horrifying. Nighttime, daytime, it doesn't matter. This place is just pure horror. I mean, when that happened with the music box, I didn't even know that shit was in this house. However, even, even if it was, it, we were here already for 24 hours and not once did that thing open or anything. And then for that to, to happen like that, me coming upstairs, the, the door knobs, and it, it was a lot to process at the time. And truth be told, I, I needed a break. I needed a break. Okay, so I was going to take a break. However, as you can hear, pretty bad thunderstorm. You're reaching out. All right. Thank you. On my life, I thought I just saw like a shadow in the reflection of that thing. Like, maybe I'm freaking out. I'm probably just losing my mind, honestly. Um, so they're, the spirits say they're reaching out. I was gonna go and take a break outside, kind of just chill in my car, because truth be told, I don't want to be here. However, when I was just like about to leave, that's when the rain got really bad. And I don't know if that's like an omen for me to stay inside, the spirits want me to stay inside, I don't know. However, um, let's go look around. Isn't it crazy how creepy this place is even during the daytime? Don't get me wrong, it's absolutely beautiful, but at the same time, it, it's, it's horrifying in its own little way. Make sure it's still locked. Okay. Spirits, you up there? Take a look. A pact. A pact. Ooh. Now, I don't want to look too deep into this, but. The murder that took place, uh, it was an affair. Now I'm wondering right now, like what are they, the pact, the pact they're talking about, was the pact maybe the marriage, the relationship, was that what was soiled that, you know what I mean? Um, it's a long shot, but I'm just throwing ideas out there. What the f Bro, literally just, something was like literally standing right there. Okay, first and foremost, why is every single door closed? Can we, uh... We want to you. Oh, awesome. You sure? Are you sure about that? What the fuck is going on? 
losing my mind right now. It's a creaky ass house, I'll tell you that much for free. Um, however, uh, okay, Jess, suck it up, suck it up, stop being a bitch. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. <laughs> okay. What the f is going on? So much for that. <laughs> so much for that. Composure. Composure. Julian. Okay. Got that yesterday. Julian, where are you? Is Adam and Regina here with me right now? Like, look how creaky this place is. Like, I just lean a certain way and it creaks the hell out of it. So... Any spirits here waltzing around will make a sound for sure. I'm a friend. I'm a friend. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so that's exactly what I was thinking. Sorry, it's a little lopsided right now so what i was thinking was i'm getting the vibe that the person we're speaking to has or the people we're speaking to there's a couple of them one is trying to protect us one is potentially trying to harm us or whatever else is the the, the purpose right however there's definitely something here that wants to help and needs help at the same time <clears throat> from whatever i was executed Execute, is that how you were murdered? By execution. That makes a lot of sense. Makes a hell of a lot of sense. Okay. Vicky, Vicky, you're all so sicky. I will be coming back for this. Mark my words. Whoa. Hello? Hello? Um, guys? Is that what I heard earlier? The door's closing? Okay, I mean, I guess that makes a whole lot of sense. That's so... Oh, I just realized these are closed as well. Hold on. Sorry, let me get some light in here. Um, it's really weird as to why that'd be the case. Is anybody in here? Is it my phone? Okay, well, that's odd. Okay. Is anybody here? Hello? Fuck this. Let's settle this once and for all. Oh, there's the fucking doorknob. Okay, okay. You know what? No. No, 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 I'm, I'm doing this once and for all. Keys have been in my pocket the whole night. 
Oh. Okay. I'll worry about that after. Guys, I can only see what I see in the camera, so please understand that. Okay, I'm visiting. I'm coming up there. I'm shitting my pants right now, guys. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm shitting my pants right now. Okay. Here I come. Okay. Who's up there? You want me to visit, huh? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave this door wide open and under no circumstance, please don't close for the love of everything I love. Is, is that what's next? Is, is, is what's next again? You're gonna close this door? Really? Are you foreshadowing? Okay, give me this damn flashlight. Okay, that came from up there. All right, I'm coming. bunch of stuff up here. Oh gosh. Look at those chests. Look at those chests. Okay. Here I come. <sighs> this is a really nice place. Yeah, bro, literally I think this is like someone living up here. There's like one black cloak or shirt over there that's just hanging. Ivy. Uh, Ivy? Okay, Ivy. Um, Ivy, what's in the chests? What's in the chests, Ivy? I'm gonna go ahead and open them. Three, two, one. Okay, um, okay, I can't, I, I'm, okay, I'm, uh, um, okay, really quick, guys, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm getting really bad vibe right now. This might be exactly where all that shit was happening. That, I can't show that on YouTube. There's a lot of personal shit in there. One, two, I'm getting a really bad fucking vibe right now. I feel like there's something with me right now. As I speak, I feel like something's staring at me, someone's staring at me, and you know what? Um, someone was definitely living here at one point, and um, that, uh, what belongs in that chest? Clearly something very personal. And you know what? I, uh... Nornian. Nornian. Again? I've heard that before. Hornian. Oh, shit, the f What the f <laughs> Who's there? It literally sounds like it's around this corner. I'm gonna look around. Ivy? Are you here? Oh my god. Bro, my camera is so blurry right now. Hold on. Yeah, you guys f***ing hear that? My camera's so blurry right now, and it literally sounds like something's walking right in front of me. I'm zooming in right now. What the fuck? Okay, something literally is stepping here somewhere. You guys probably cannot see anything because the screen's so blurry right now. Hold on, just not blurry. Blurry. Not blurry. Blurry. Not blurry. Okay. We are not at peace. Yeah, I know, uh, something just touched my... We're not at peace. Okay, is there anything that, is there any way you can get peace? Bro, I'm, 
I can't, I can't do this right now. I'm, I'm trying to keep my... I'm okay. I'm fucking crying right now. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm trying not to freak out on you guys. I'm trying to keep my composure. I'm just going to slowly walk out of here. If I say that quietly enough, maybe, maybe they'll just let me go. Maybe they'll just let me be. Right? Right, guys? Right, spirits? Okay, I got to watch where I'm going or fucking bust my ass. Oh my gosh. What did I say about that damn door? I literally... Bro, I think there's something up here in, with me in this attic, and I'm gonna get the hell out of here right now. I can't f do this anymore, man! F Get the fuck out of here! I'm f done! Fuck. I was horrified. I think you can tell, but as I mentioned earlier, it just felt as if the house was tormenting me. And this is one of those videos I highly recommend you to watch the entire thing. Like I said, all those video links will be down in the description below. Make sure to go check that out. Now this next clip into the seventh scariest and creepiest video of the year we didn't even see this initially. We didn't even know this happened until about 30 minutes after the video was uploaded. I was getting messages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I was getting personal text messages from people like, yo, this happened, this is crazy, you have to check this out. And I'm just gonna let the footage speak for itself. Take a look. Uh, Ben? So we ice. ice, ice, baby. <laughs> I wonder what ice means. Maybe it means like I said earlier, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's my consensus on this. Clearly, we're hearing things straight from up there. And um, you know what? Let's just go ahead there first. Yeah. I was gonna save the locked room for the ending of the video, but maybe we should go there now. Might as well. We're coming up. After you. Are you up here? I heard footsteps. That was me. Oh. Hello. So the door in question that we were talking about is this door right here. So as you can see, it's padlocked. And um, I reached out to the owner, I gave her a call. I actually gave her a call as soon as the video had actually before 21,000 likes. I was like, this is happening sooner than later. We got to set up this second video, right? Mm -hmm. So I called her and I was like, hey, uh, we, we're going to come back if that's okay. She was like, absolutely, you know, we, we'd love to have you again. And I was like, if you don't mind me asking, can you tell us a little bit of information about that locked room? I, I said, is that the room to the attic? And she said, there is no attic. There's just a crawl space up there that they never went into. However, they said the locked room stays locked by any means necessary. Ivy. Ivy what? Now, I'm wondering, because of the story that we were told, they said that that is the little girl's room, one of the little girl's room, in which, in which was encountering really terrifying things. So, they said, once again, under no circumstance, uh, we had a lot of comments from people saying, oh, unscrew the door, and uh, listen guys, we're not about, we're not going to do something like that. 
We're obviously no. going to respect the home and everything like that. And she said, listen, I know you're very curious. If you can somehow squeeze your camera in between the hinges to look inside, see if maybe you could... Because last time we were standing here, I did like a knocking thing and it like knocked back. We heard knocks coming from inside. Yeah. So my only thing I'm wondering is if I could maybe, like if I, there's no way I'm gonna fit my camera in there, but I have my phone. I could fit my phone in there. Hold you on. think? Yes, yes. That's pretty thin, but there's like a lip though. That's what she said. Sorry. Uh, you got a lip on you. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just to see. Bro, I can, look. Okay. Oh, you could. I very what? much could. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on really quick. You did that with ease. Here we go. Okay. 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 All right, phone's in, although I can't really see much, so I guess you guys get first peeks. Um, really blurry. I do see a lot of blue. Like blue wallpaper? Yeah. It looks like you, you can kind of see it's the crack anyway a little bit. There's a little light blue. Hold on. I'm going to try to... What can I possibly do? If I could like maybe... Because I don't want to blow the damn hinges off. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. So I'm trying to see if I... No. Okay. I think right here is the best part. If I push right... Ah. Yeah, see like I can't really turn my phone. Yeah, there's not really much you can do. No. And I don't want to break the damn door. Or so. your phone, bro. You're going like, to snap it, honestly. It's made glass. <sighs> Touché. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, holy shit. That scared the hell out of me. Oh, my There's God. There's a little doll on the bed. My bed and everything. There's a picture frame or maybe even a mirror. Well, damn. Okay, so that, ma that makes a lot of sense. Remember, they said it was the, the girls' room. Right, and right. That makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. The doll's head moved. It was a locked room, and the doll's head moved. When I saw that after the video was uploaded, it felt as if like my soul left my body. I was so scared, and I wasn't even there anymore. I was home. I was here, and I just I was terrified. This is why I really appreciate the comment section sometimes because you guys catch a lot of things that we may miss. I mean, in that moment, I was just sticking my phone through like a crevice in the door and it was one of those things that just didn't even like come to me. So I really appreciate you guys. And speaking of crazy things that have happened in the paranormal world, this, what you're about to watch, to me is still, I think, the craziest piece of paranormal evidence I have ever captured. This is number six on our top 10 list. We call this the sister sister house all righty damn this place is cool cool this place is awesome let me just make sure the door 1860 it. this house was built really mm -hmm. damn this place is amazing oh it's got a piano oh, oh dude you scared dude. me for a second a, yeah <laughs> i love pianos all right all right um does it work it does work okay so spirits if at any Point in the night, you want to use this piano, any key at all, if you're familiar. I can see the some of these keys are worn out. If by any chance you want to use these to, for anything, just go ahead and do something like this. It's crazy that all these old houses have, like all these fireplaces. Yeah, you're right. It's like yeah. every room. That's so sick. That is a sick fireplace. I wonder why it's closed. Oh, 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 dude, did you see that? What the hell? Bro, what the hell? Oh, 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 dude, did you see that? What the hell? Bro, what the hell? Bro, did you see yeah, that? I've seen that. How could I Did you see that? What is that? Dude, this chest, chest, it's this whole chest set. You know what's crazy, bro? You know what was going through my mind literally seconds before that happened? What? I was like, you know what? I want to play some chess. Yeah. I love chess yeah. in high school, bro. Like that, that is so cool. No, that didn't just happen, bro. No, I, d explain that. Uh, Wait a minute, I, maybe I could explain. You have a force field around you and you got close to it and <laughs> pushed no, it No, 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 listen. Some of these old houses have these like boards 
that like moves stuff. So like a booby trap. Let's okay. not a, necessarily a booby trap, but like. I don't know, bro. <laughs> like he was just walking, and that's. Like where were we all standing? I, I was standing by the front door. Okay, the doorway, and then you were over here. And I was over here. All right. And I just literally walked into it. No, bro. No, no. no. Explain that. Ah. Uh, Dude, cause it's freaking catch. There is spirit here. Did you catch that? Yeah, hundred percent. I'm, I'm pretty sure I caught that too. I was too. right in front of that. Thing that is, is, is so like, cool. Look, like, ex wow. Yeah. Want to play? Oh, these are those heavy chess sets too. Really. It's not glass, but it's like a heavy plastic. Wow. Dude, I, dude we just got here and stuff's going crazy That's what I'm already. I think the ghosts want to play chess with us. Or maybe it's warning us not to go any further. It's literally the front door. This might be the craziest paranormal thing I've ever captured in my life. Hands down. Damn. I say it to this day. That is single-handedly the craziest thing that has ever happened to me while doing these videos. Ever. And that was just within minutes of walking into this house. And we knew that the night was just progressively going to get crazier. And it did. Especially for my friend James. Take a look at what happened to him. All right, have fun, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Better him than me. See ya. Oh, come on, I always am the one that gets stuck into something like this. Oh, my God. Bro, what is that? Oh, it's a light. I thought it was a bell. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Ooh! What the hell? Bro, uh-uh, uh-uh. Wow, ah, what the? No, 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 dude, no, 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 hell no. Hell no, no. Bro, I'm done. I'm not going up there. I'm not going up there. The freaking door slammed right on me, bro. It literally slammed right on me. Huh? No. Bro, the door slammed at the end of this hallway. And then that, that that one slammed, bro. Both of them slammed right on me, dude. But I'm, there's something in there. I'm, no, 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 bro. Uh, uh. You guys go up there. Hell no. I mean, I'll go. Uh, I'll go up behind you. That's it, bro. They both slammed shut right on me. Oh, oh wow. Look, dude. There's like a really cold draft right here. Yeah, I feel that. James, this door's wide open. No, it was closed, bro. They slammed shut. No, these doors are open, James. The doors are wide open. What? No, maybe no, no, no way. No, they both closed. No, maybe they closed and opened. Does it, hold on. They slammed shut, bro, hold on. They slammed shut. No, no, how the hell, how does that open? Show me how that opens. Bro, don't, don't fall, bro, don't yeah, fall. Like I'm not, I'm not, but I'm freaked out right now. No, bro. How does that happen? Wait, you know, it opens, you gotta push it hard. It didn't just open by itself. Okay. All right, I am kind of freaked out right now. That's a little... We thought you fell. Like, we Bro, were no. concerned, but we were like, oh, no. trip or something. No, like, the, this door fell. What did it say? Family. Okay. Yeah. Your family. I mean, I am the fam, but... Family. What does it mean? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Go look in there. What's in there? Nope, nope, nope. I ain't doing it. <laughs> oh, Bro, I gotta nice. get my breath. Okay. Oh my god. Look at these. Why is there a light just interesting? This is a nightlight. Lisa. Lisa? Lisa. Is this Lisa's room? Bro, can you hold this? I gotta I gotta sit yeah. down for a second, bro. I'm literally like that scared the living hell out of me, bro. <sighs> Bro, I am literally, look at this, dude. I'm dripping in sweat. Literally. You good, bro? Oh, no, bro. That you really take a scared break? me, bro. Let's go take a break. Maybe it's for the best. Yeah, I'll tell you what, when we split up, I ain't taking this floor. That's your floor. Yeah, let's go. Because whoever does the third floor does the fourth floor, too. All right, perfect. I think Yasko should do that. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you could have Lisa's room. All right, Lisa, it's me and you tonight. Don't oh, tell my God, my bro. All right. I wonder what's up there, though. I mean, I guess we might as well check really yeah, quick. this doll freaks me out. Like, genuinely nah, freaks me let's out. let's leave this mysterious. 
What did I say? It said Lisa and then Ann. <laughs> Lisa <laughs> Ann. <laughs> um, Maybe Ann is her. We all know name? her last name. Oh, <sighs> the legendary Lisa Ann. I don't judge. You good, man? Bro, I just I, honestly, honestly, I just like I don't, I just I don't know, bro. <laughs> I really don't know. That scared the crap out of me, bro. Whoa! Like I know you guys were down. It just said noise. Noise. So, Anne, did you make that noise? Did, did, were you the one who closed the doors? Yeah, something about this doll freaks me out. She's looking right at you. Yeah. I don't I think like her name is Lisa. Oh, it's so quiet all of a sudden in here, too. Lisa. What was that? You didn't hear that? Uh huh. What was it? It was really faint. I heard that. It, it's yeah. not, it almost sounded like a. Like a knock. You didn't hear that. I, mean, I, mean, I just I thought it. it was like, I did hear that, but I thought it was like somebody like, you know, hit something. I have like, terrible ADHD. Training. Wait, what is it? Training? Draining. 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 Yeah, it could be draining, draining your energy right now. I could tell you are. Yeah, hundred percent. Look, I wasn't sweating before, and all of a sudden I just busted out in a sweat. And like, I do not feel right, bro. Like, I really don't. It is cold, too. <sighs> all right, let's check, let's, go let's check the last floor. What do you want to go? I don't want to go up there. No, I up? like it here. I like it here. <laughs> wow. Why don't you save that floor for when you're here? Yeah, and I might. You can just go up there. All right, I'll save It'd it. It'd be like, you know, a reason to not only smash that like button, but as well hang out and be on this video for a while. For sure. Make right. sure to watch to the end, because it's going to get scarier and scarier. I can promise you that. Or maybe not. I feel like it just keeps getting worse. James isn't looking too good, man. Oh, I'm not feeling too good. Wait, okay. we're on the third floor, yeah. right? The next one's the fourth. Okay. All right, I gotta go get some fresh air from there, guys. Like, so, I, I just gotta take it outside. So that happened. Think he's okay? I sure hope so. What'd you do to our friend? You said draining just now. I feel like something's trying to possess him. Possess him? Yeah. Who's draining? James. Oh shit. You alright bro? James. James. Oh shit, James! Dude, he's like passed out. Bro, are you are you okay? Yeah. Dude, you good? Yeah. Hang on. You good? Dude, he's like shaking, like. I'm gonna get him some bad, water. Bad, bad, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get him some water. Okay, hold on. Bro, James, you good? Alright. Here, here, sit right there. We're gonna go get some water. Bro, what the fuck is going on? Here. Scratch. Scratch. Bro, are you What happened? Bro, I just blacked out. I was walking down. I felt so lightheaded, and I just felt like I don't think I passed out. I don't. I don't know, dude. You don't think you I passed out? No, I passed out, but I... Why don't you come sit outside? Yeah, let's go outside. Since I went up to that floor, I just, I'm not feeling good. As I go up there, I'm walking toward one of the doors, and it literally slammed right in my face. Scared the heck out of me. I backed up, and I went to go downstairs when another door slammed on me, and I know there was nobody in this house. I got the heck out of there and I did not feel good after that. I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know if something came over me. I don't know if something tried to possess me, but all I knew was I needed to take a break. I needed some fresh air. So I went to go outside to get some fresh air and I started just getting super dizzy. Like I already knew I didn't feel good, which is why I needed to go outside. But I got downstairs, started walking toward the door and just 
fainted. Like, I, I don't know what happened. Like, I'm still really confused on what actually made that happen. Um, I know I was just laying there on the floor. I knew what was happening. So I'm not sure if I actually lost consciousness or not. The only thing I really remember was being super dizzy. The room started spinning and down I went. Thank goodness I have some good friends here with Omar and Yasko. They came right to help me, got me some water, went outside to get that fresh air. And when I came back in, I definitely felt a lot better. Things okay? I hope so, bro. Where is he? He's drinking right. oh, water still. Okay. James, you good, bro? You good, bro? Huh? You good? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm feeling better. Okay. Just need like some fresh air, bro. That was crazy. Like I felt lightheaded as soon as I went up there, and like I knew I needed to get some fresh air. And then I just got down to the bottom, bro. I got super dizzy. How do you feel now? Um, I feel better. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, man. I'm glad. Yeah. If you don't want to go back in, we don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to go back in. No, I'll go back in, bro. Sure? Of course. Man, of course. I got to, bro. <laughs> yeah. I this is it. one of the craziest places I've ever been to. It really like, is. Like, I, I, I'm jealous of your video. That's all I can say, <laughs> bro. This is no, it's insane. A, it's a, I wish I had this video, bro. That's crazy. I swear, <sighs> I just thought I saw something in that window. Really? Yeah. That this is a cool that. house. Yeah, it's amazing. It looks like a little castle. Hmm. You good like from falling? Like that was a hard fall, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I'm a little bruised, like like right here on my, my like hip or something. Mm -hmm. I can feel it, but besides that I'm fine. Did you like faint or something? I think so. What did it feel like? You just I just got really dizzy, bro. Like super dizzy and mm -hmm. like just like felt like I was just gonna pass out. I mean, I literally did. Yeah. Like I knew I need, bro. I'm telling you, I knew something was happening because, like, after that happened, dude. I, maybe I worked myself up too much. Like I don't know, but after I seen that happen, and I've seen stuff like that before, so like I'm used to it. But I don't know why this is so different. Like for some reason, this was different. It wasn't just like that. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know. Poor James, man. He really went through it that night. I, I really felt for him. We all had some horrifying experiences, but he really got the blunt end of things. And we're actually currently planning to go back to our sister, sister house. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe because you do not want to miss that video when it drops. Now, we're going to head on into the next experience, number five. This is a location that will send chills down your spine just by hearing the history of it. The owner of the property found a metal tin underneath his shed. He brought this tin inside of his house, and that's when the paranormal activity began. The items inside of this tin are very unsettling, and you're going to see that for yourself very soon. He tried to put this tin back where he found it, hoping that the paranormal activity would stop. However, it seemed as if it only ramped up further. So he invited us. We decided to come on in and see if we could pinpoint why this paranormal activity is happening. And we decided to dig up this tin, bring it inside, and... Oh... My God. So we're gonna go into the shed. She will touch you. Oh no. Um, okay. And it keeps talking about this lady, keeps talking about this, keeps talking about that. She will touch you. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna touch my neck. I got really scared. <laughs> um, it's pouring really hard. So we're gonna go run over there. I see there's like a little roof. So we'll go under the roof and then we'll try to get into that door. Um, Cause he said that's where that metal box is where he found the items that started ramping up all the paranormal activity. So, you ready, Ben? Ready. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Um, shed, all right. I'm gonna try to get that, what did I say? Christine. Christine. She will touch you, Christine. Okay, so I think this is what... But there's a lock on there. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, well, I think actually on those keys... Let me see if there's two keys on there. There's just one. Oh, uh, it's just one. Shit. Um, I'm gonna go see if there's another door. I'll be right back, okay? All right.
Whoa! Maybe it's my eyes playing tricks on me, bro, but I swear to God, I thought I saw, like, the body of a woman standing over there. And I'm... Evidence! Oh, fuck. Hey, uh... What? Didn't you say it was, like, in, like, a chicken box thing? I didn't even think of that. Yep. Uh, that's a metal box. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Okay. Bro. What did it just say? I'm really here. Oh shit. It's starting to pour as soon as we find this. Yeah. That's our luck. We gotta make it back into the house. Okay. You ready to run back in? So, fuck. Is there anything else in there? All right, you know what? We'll worry about that later. All right, let's go. All right, ready? Let's go. I'm just freaking out because the damn, I don't know what I saw back there. I went around to the right and it looked like it was behind the shit over there. And it's weird enough that this stuff is here. So it's like, all right. It's weird to begin with. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Okay. Here, let me make sure it's locked. Bugs on the light. I'm good. Okay. Come on me. Um, oh. We should just do it right here. Okay. Um. So this is what they were talking about. Oh my gosh. It's the picture of the two girls. Are... No, 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 no. I just not say her. It did not say wow. her. Why is this so wow. fucking pinpoint? That's really weird. And people always ask me why I use this. This is why. Um. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my god. You said her. Can you tell me about, what about her? Suddenly. Oh, that's a creepy photo. There's a book in here, bro. Oh, uh, what? Look, it's almost like two people are sitting down. The faces were burnt. I wonder why that is. Damage. Damn, bro. There's damage to the photo. Yeah, there, there is. Clearly. Okay. Clear Do you day. think that that was done intentionally? Because I noticed that there is some fire damage to this one right here, but it's only on the top. However, this one is on the bottom right there, but also on the faces of these two people. Right. Almost like they were trying to hide the identity, maybe? I, I would oh, say, shit. Yeah. yeah. Little girl. What the hell? All right. Wow. Wow. You right? Yeah, no, I'm just blown away. Oh! Bro. I just saw something back here. There's writing on the back of this photo. What does it say? Or what does it Mr. say? Mr. Reed. It's in cur I can't speak cursive. You always do have trouble speaking that. From father and mother. Bro, look at the date on top. April 18th, 1915. Wow. Elsewhere. Elsewhere. Okay. I'm going to be honest, that makes a lot of sense. Because these photos don't look like they were taken in here. These photos look like they were taken elsewhere. Yeah. Because all of these photos, this one has a damn palm tree in the back. That's, that's true. Yeah. And I'm just wondering if maybe 
what if there's something attached to this right here, right? Or maybe something else, too, that we haven't discovered yet. And it was brought here for whatever reason. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, you could have a, uh, you could have, like, a, a fire at a hospital with a bunch of different patients who have different, you know, lives. We could be looking at the photos trying to make a connection and we don't realize they're either. separated. Right, but what if like the initial house burned down or something? It's possible. You know, there's, there's so many... Swinton's Third Reader. Books like taped together. Really old. Oh my gosh, and tons of things written. Marked up. Just a bunch of numbers. Just shit tons of numbers everywhere. That's weird. Swinton's third reader. Andy stood in the middle of the track and stretched out his little arms as far apart as he could. Oh, what, what track? Huh? Is that like a train track? Train track. The train's literally coming. Um, Wait, what the f***? Yeah, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Listen, I, if any of you have any idea what this book is meant for... I'm trying to understand if this has any correlation to this, or maybe is this something that they read when they were little, or I don't know. God, I don't know what that would do to you if you read that when you were little. Like, oh yeah, the book about run, like letting a train run you over. My fear. Yeah, I guess. Oh, there's a date on here. Hold on. One eight eight two, eighteen eighty two. Oh, wow, bro, that's if that's ancient. correct. If that's correct, that's ancient. Please get out. <laughs> sure, no problem. Right. I have no problem doing so. Um, I'll see you later, guys. Because I'm freaked the fuck out right now. Bro, it was when he found this box, when he brought it in here, is when he noticed everything just go ballistic in regards to paranormal activity. So, well, there's something. My question, or how about this? Let's run this spirit talker as well as I'll run Necrometer on my, my other phone and we'll see if we can get more answers, more responses as to what's going on here. Yeah. This one's very accurate, so maybe this will give us some more answers too. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do this. You're about to notice that the spirits that we're talking to are going to get more and more aggressive. We're not exactly sure why this is happening, but of course it happens once we open this metal tin and we're looking at these photos, the book inside, and all the sorts. If you guys have any idea, any theories about these pictures and the history of this cabin or whatever it may be, let us know down in the comment section below. We'd really appreciate it because honestly, at this point, we're still not exactly sure. There's a lot of information to unravel and a lot of responses that we get throughout the night. So. Once again, if you guys have any idea, let us know down below, but uh, take a look and you're going to see these spirits are going to get more angry, more powerful, and our night is about to get a lot more interesting. Watch yourself here. Ooh. We got please get out and watch yourself here. I'm starting to think that there's something a little bit more sinister here than we initially might have thought. Or maybe something very like protective. Maybe we should like... Announce that we're not here to start okay. any trouble. Yeah, so let's let's announce ourselves to begin with. So, hello, spirits. My name is Jazz. I'm Ben. And we would like to communicate with you. If you could please use your energy, manifest your energy, try to use these two devices right here. You could say things like you have been so far. Please watch yourself here, etc., etc. You've clearly made it known that there is a girl here. There is a lady here. And you've shown it to me. I've seen the apparition outside. We need a name. You've given us Christine, so I'd like to understand if that was you, Christine. Can you come forward and communicate with us some more? Please understand that we're not here. Wander. Wander. Do you want I mean, us to come outside? It's storming outside. I don't think that's going to happen. I visit. Wander, I visit. Maybe what you saw was like a, a spirit, spirit wandering. Okay. Um, Christine, can you confirm if that was you outside? Give me some sort of confirmation that that was you. I got, she will touch you. Now I'm just, is there something dangerous here? I didn't even 
gonna check the other photos, the back of them. This one doesn't have anything. This one doesn't have anything either. That's some, uh... This is giving me some, like, really weird vibes, I'll be honest. Like the twins from, uh... The, the Shining. Yeah, The Shining. This one's smiling. This one's, like, not. And just give me... Candles. A... Do you want me to light some candles? We could do that. Do you think that these girls right here are these girls right here? Yes. Actually, very much so. Look at their faces. They look like it, right? They look very similar. It almost seems like... Whoever took the photo, like... Put, put like, the same girl on the same side. Do you see any candles, Ben? Uh... I found the lighter, but I didn't find the candle. I haven't seen any. Okay. Well, it's not going to help us much if you don't show us where the candles are. Can you give us a sign to show us where the candles are? Oh, my stomach. Not feeling Wait, it? what did I say? Horrible? Horrible. Did something horrible happen to the people attached to these photos right here? Because um, I'm trying to understand what the hell happened here. That's a woman, I could tell you right now. This is a man. Yeah. I'd I say. could see a tie, full suit, kind of burnt away. Yeah. However, bro. Is that, is that a mirror or a doorway behind the lady? It's a mirror. That okay. is a mirror right there, and that's a mirror right there as well. Oh, portal. This is giving me some really sinister like vibes right here. I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. Well, why would you need to cover up the face? Horrible. Can you clarify what you meant by hor- Found. Found. They found bones in the well. That is true. That is pretty horrible. Like top ten horrible things you can find in a well. <laughs> I'd like to think that's number one. <laughs> At least top three. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, man, I'm getting looking at, you. looking at you. Well, that did not give me a good feeling. I did not like that. Okay. Also, it doesn't help us that this house is just full of windows. I remember that's why they claim that there's so many. They see so many. Well, it felt immediate like it was something outside. Shh, listen. Oh, shh. Shh. Listen. Okay. We'll do. Ben? Yeah. There's a fucking piano upstairs. The, the little the fucking toy. The toy thing. There's a spirit of these little girls. Just like the owner, we experience strange noises coming from within the home, outside of the home, deep within the forest, screams. However, the scariest thing that happened to us that night, we didn't even notice. It was another one of those moments where the comment section went crazy. I'm going to play the clip for you first because it's one of those things that's easy to miss. I missed it during editing. However, I do film these videos and edit these videos very late. It's actually 3.13 in the morning right now, so it kind of shows, but just take a look. It's just, we don't want to, risk getting stuck down the road and then we have to come back here completely soaked, What you know what I mean? And then also leaving my car in the butt F middle of nowhere. So apart from that very scary location, um, Ben, what do you think? Yeah, I feel like it's definitely one of the more active places we've been to. Um, uh, maybe not more active or the most active, uh, but definitely like one of the more unsettling ones. Um, I really don't like this, uh, whoever opened the front door. Uh, I feel like that that like opened the door to like a different type of, type of danger, you know, like a danger that I don't really want to deal with. You know, it's different, like paranormal stuff versus real people. So overall, uh, I'm just ready to go home. Right behind Ben, 
right where that door is, to the left of it, there is a window. A full-on hand, the shadow of a hand, appeared for about two, three seconds and then just disappeared. Once I seen that because of the comments, I froze. I was so scared. I had so much fear. And the reason for that is because of what happened earlier on the night. We did an alone challenge. So one of us sat in the back patio while the other just investigated the home. While Ben was doing his alone challenge, the front door just opened completely on its own as if something was trying to come inside. That, to me, mixed with what you just saw, was horrifying. I don't know if something wasn't allowed to come in, wanted to come in, or maybe wanted us to come outside, but it did a very good job at showing itself, and right now, I am freaked out. That's one of those locations where I will never go back to. Like, just thinking about it sends chills down my spine. Never again. In 2023, we did a lot of house calls. We called it our ghost at home series, where basically we would investigate private residential areas of where people are experiencing paranormal activity. Number four of our scariest moments of 23, <laughs> number four of our scariest moments of 2023 was a residential call. We came to this house and immediately upon walking in, you'll notice it's a beautiful home, very modern, newly decorated. However, there was something lurking in this home something very very dark that's a really weird smell it's very weird a beautiful home though well, i guess um get comfortable yeah if there's any spirits here with us, can you please let yourself be known? Can you give us a sign that you're here? I'll take my jacket off. Okay. You gotta take your jacket, buddy. Take a look around. So this is the kitchen, back door. Uh, we were told that there's a lot of bedrooms here and all the sorts. So let's go check this out. Yeah, but they say like two stories. Yeah, uh, there's also a basement, but he, the owner told us not to go down there. We were told not to by any means. I'm gonna respect the owner's wishes. Yeah, but rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, he might be. Or am I? Mixed messages. Oh boy. All right, we got tons of rooms. There's the stairs to the second floor. Huh. Really okay. Cool. Um, bedroom here. Another bedroom here. Okay. We'd be pretty close to each other, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Huh? Look, an Xbox Connect. Oh, Yo, shit. We could actually use We could play this. Connect Adventures. That's not what I was implying. We could, the, oh, we could use that tonight to maybe, maybe if we could connect it to your computer, we could use that for an SLS. That way we could have it set up here. Maybe I could sleep here and it'll detect if anything, you know, walks in the room, walks around, anything of the sorts. Is that something that people actually do? Yeah, yeah, no, legit. Oh, really? Yeah. Another bedroom here. Okay, so yeah, tons of bedrooms. Uh, we'll take a deeper dive into this later. So, back patio back here. Thought I heard something. Hello? Oh. Ah! What the f What the f What the f Thought I heard something. Hello? Oh. Ah! What the f What the f What the f Bro. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's still moving around. It's rolling? It's like rolling around. Uh, Bro, I'm like frozen right now. I can't even move. What the? What the? It's like a hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I'm like freaking out. You have shoes? Yeah, I do have shoes. Do you? Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to cut myself, bro. What the? Yep. It's, uh, it broke. Oh, the owner's gonna kill us. Well, you oh. know the crazy thing is, 
the owner was literally telling me that like some things will fly off the shell, like the countertops and stuff. Like, bro, that's insane. It's almost okay. like a welcoming message. Yeah, um, I feel really welcome. I'd say, bro. Oh my God, there's so many pieces. Oh dear. Okay, right, uh, well, we gotta be careful not to cut ourselves. We have to find a broom. Yeah, we have to clean but this up. But what the f is going on, bro? Not even five minutes in and we're experiencing poltergeist level activity. We knew that we were in for a wild night and we kept asking ourselves, what's going on here? What's lurking in the darkness? What secrets does this house hold? And upon reaching the second floor, we were approached with a locked door. And this wasn't your ordinary locked door. This was basically a massive wood panel in the wall with screws holding a lock in there. We didn't think much of it initially. We were like, all right, whatever, you know, it's locked for a reason, but we were hearing noises coming from the other side. And curiosity got the best of me and I decided to take matters into my own hands. And I ended up regretting that decision big time. <sighs> In action can be a regret. Also, action can be a regret too. I don't want to live with any of my friends. I was going to say, can pass. there's two locks, my friend. One might be broken, the other might be. All right. Well, guys, we're... I was kind of uh, hoping you wouldn't get that open. Yeah, me too. But hey, no regrets, right? Mm -hmm. We're inside of a haunted house and we find a locked door that we were able to pry open. So, three, two, one... Uh, Ben, look at the floor. Look at the floor right away. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, Ben? Look at the floor. It's wood. It's wood. I know. Ben, someone was... We just heard walking above us. I know. Wait. Hold on, let me hold this. Yeah, hold on, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh, my God. Music box. My neck. My back. My, uh, yeah. my crack. Is there a little tiny door over there in the wall? That's a vent. Oh. It's still going off. It's going off big time right now. As soon as we open the door. It's like it doesn't want us to be in here. Um, okay. So Didn't it say be reluctant about us being in here earlier? Not quite sure. Why is there just a light bulb right here with the... Are you afraid? A little bit, yeah. I'd say a little. Yeah. But I want to get to know you a little bit better. I don't know what it is, Ben. Yeah. But I feel like something is right there. I feel like something's standing right here. Like... You know that feeling you have when you could just sense in front somebody of the body or something? Yeah. I have a feeling like something's just standing right there. Um, it's a couple of like little shoes are like tied together. They're like burnt. Oh, time. good. There's a couple of photos here. Wow, these are burnt. Um, I'll pass you this one. What is it? And then look at this one. Oh. But bro, are we not gonna talk about the Wiccan star that's right here? That's what I thought you were talking about when you said, bro, look at that. And then you're like, yeah. the wooden floors. I was like, oh. Well, <laughs> that, yeah, but still, there's just a yeah. metal Wiccan star What's right here. Uh... I don't wanna touch that, because I don't know, like, Bro, if there's rituals and stuff right, down here, you don't, don't want to like touch carry. Remember, they said they burned all the cursed artifacts in the home. I don't know Evelyn. if the Evelyn. Maybe, maybe not all of them. Maybe they forgot some. I mean, bro, is there a reason why this room was locked off? Is there, like, I I sense a negative energy in here for sure. Now I'm just saying, like, Ben, 
Ask this method in here. Oh, you're right. Bro, it'd be crazy in here. Cause I could, I could hang out like, you know. Lock the door on Lock me. the door. While I'm in here. Yeah. That doesn't scare you. You're, no, you're fine. Not at okay, all. cool. Let's do it. All right. Here, come on. The shoes, maybe? Maybe. The, those are tiny shoes, though. The photos, the shoes. I mean, there's a whole lot going on here. Yeah. Evelyn, can you tell me a little bit more about your childhood? It's so hard breathing here. Yeah. What's that? Whew. It's so cold, but it's like freezing. so warm at the same time. You want to hop out for a bit, maybe? Maybe it's uh something about the room, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give me just one sec, bro. Is there a coat hanger over there? Yeah, and there's like a tarp just hanging from the ceiling. Um, mm. All right, we're going to be back. Very curious as to if this works. Wait. What is that? This isn't connected to anything. I thought this was for the light bulb. This is just a hanging rope. Not in the news Bro, either. Hold on. What if this was supposed to be tied to the back of the door for like extra hold? Oh, it could have been. Actually, it makes sense. Hold on. Let me, give me, give me it. Like. Oh my oh, God. Oh, you are right, bro. Look at that. That Th was totally this door wasn't meant, meant. This wasn't meant to guys, be open, bro. That that held the door. I don't know if you can see that. This wasn't meant yeah. to be open. It was not meant to be open. Which makes me feel like you're starting to feel a kind of way. Like you're starting to feel sick or something. Let's get you up. What? Star. Star. Okay. Texas. Oh, Ben? What? Remember how you said about the hanging thing? Yeah. There's a screw right at the top. Oh, of course there that is. That would have held on to it. But the thing is, to do that, to put a rope around a screw and a... What? You put some, like, living in here or something, and then, like, they well, could come out I and mean, make a block with it? a pooping chair, right? Yeah. But that's not, like, up to codes. I wouldn't say, no. Huh. I feel like if there was anything that was supposed to be sealed away in here, we just released it. Oh, good. So we did, like, the bad thing? Oh, probably the worst possible case scenario. I'm genuinely, like, concerned right now. Remember when I said I have regrets earlier? And I said, yeah, and I said, like, action and inaction, like, you can have regrets with both. And you chose action, and you're like, yeah, that's why we don't want to lose the regrets. Roger. Again? That's the second time. In the same... House. House. Because doesn't I say, like, Roger is a name where it's like you'd hey, just bro, be a grown-ass man? Bro, 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 we were hearing things. Okay, I... We, we, we're hearing things now. But I was going to say we were hearing things. I said Roger. We were then brought to this. Whatever sound happened, this unhinged, and then Roger again. Did we release Roger? Mandy. And Mandy? Okay, shut this fucking door, dude. It seems like we're... Clearly, whatever this is, you tell us an older door, too? Because, like, look how small it is. Wait a second. I just want to see something on the back of this door, because, uh, before I put it away. Yep, there's scratches. That's all I needed to see. That's all I'm taking my time. Doesn't seem like it. I remember the first thing I said when we walked in here was, I'm gaining energy. Energy, yeah, I'm taking my time. Okay, so let's turn that. Bro, if whatever spirit was in here, let's just say, is like strong enough to be oh. hitting it from the inside. And also to, to knock over them. vases and whatever the fuck. There's something strong here. Yeah. And it makes sense. And I mean, this. Yeah. Remember that SS method thing I was telling you about? Yeah. Maybe not in here. I, 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 I think know. we might be pushing our boundaries with this one. Still think we should do it maybe outside of it. 
Fair. Okay, yeah. before we take a break, Roger, Mandy, anybody, can you... One last thing. What the f the fuck was that? Ben, Ben, better be careful. Don't just go into it. Okay, I'm sorry. So, real quick, guys. Uh, we're upstairs. We're going to give this a shot. I don't know if this is a good idea or bad. Uh, people have been asking us to do an SS method in these videos for a while. Figure we give it a shot. I kind of want to do it in there. Something's like drawing me into this, whatever you want to call this room. But I don't know if that's the smart idea, right? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sit here with my back facing this wall. And I'm going to use these uh, noise cancellation headphones. I have it currently open right now so I could hear if Ben's saying anything. But once I start doing this, I'm going to close it. And these are incredible. Like I cannot hear a damn thing. We'll be using the Necrophonic app. I will have Ben ask me numerous questions. And I'll answer based on whatever the hell the Necrophonic is saying through my ears. I will close my eyes. And for 10 minutes, about 10 minutes or so, uh, we'll keep it going. They say it's not a good idea to do anything longer than 10 to 15 minutes because you can get yourself lost in whatever the hell's going on. And I don't want to do that, so. Okay. Well, it's like 12 minutes of loud sounds. They can hurt your ears. Nothing. Keep on going. You're good. All right. Well, it's crazy because when I have these on, I, ca I can't barely even hear myself. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this. You can hear that. How loud that? Okay. That's very loud. Okay. Yeah. Now imagine that in my eardrums. So. Whenever you want, Ben, start asking questions. All right. Uh, are there any spirits in the room behind you? Yes. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, what spirit made a sound downstairs? Peaceful. A peaceful spirit. Okay. See me. See you. Okay. Uh, uh, spirit, uh, are you... Uh, so you're peaceful spirit. Are you going to hurt us? Are you here to help us? Who am I talking to? Hush. Hush. Be quiet. Okay. Fearful. You're fearful? I keep on hearing sounds downstairs, guys. Uh, Do you see me? No, I don't see you, Spirit. Uh, Spirit, who's making sounds downstairs? Polish. Polish. Evelyn. Evelyn's Polish. Okay. Okay, Evelyn's Polish. Nah. I... Nah. Fuck, I keep on hearing stuff. Room. Room. Okay, room. Uh, what happened in the room behind you? Hush. Ben. Oh my god, it said Ben's name. Oh no. Okay. Um. Oh, fuck. Ben again. Oh, okay, I, I forgot you know a little him. bit. You know who? Who, who knows him? Phil. Phil, Phil knows me? Uh, two people know me? Oh my god, bro. There's like a really, really like demonic voice that's coming through every so often. It's scaring the shit out of me. Okay. Uh, what is that? De not, what is a demonic voice? Who is that demonic voice? What the fuck? Azazel. Azazel? Us. Okay. Jazz almost sounds like he spoke backwards there for a second. Die. Okay. Don't. Danger. Die. Okay. Uh, that's where I'm about to go. Die. Spirits, listen to me. I'm about to go downstairs. Stay. Okay, I'll stay. I won't go downstairs. Nowhere. Here. Fuck. Come see me. Uh. Jazz. Blood. Oh, Two. shit. Jazz, I'll be right back. Hi. Below. Holy fuck. Hush. Okay. Demon. Okay. 
Hello? Who was that? Hello? Bro, I swear to God, I heard something down here. Ah. Fuck. Where's Ben? Ben. Hello? Oh, my head is killing me. I gotta sit down. Hello? Oh my god. Okay. I guess it was nothing. Uh. What was that then? Hello? Jeff? Yeah. Holy fuck! Oh, you scared the f out of me. I'm so sorry. What are you doing? Uh, there was a bunch of sounds coming from downstairs, so I went to go check it out. While you were telling me, every time I asked the spirits if I should go downstairs, it was like, nope, don't go downstairs. You're gonna fucking die. Really? Yeah, but it was it was like loud knocking coming from downstairs. I had I had I I didn't know if it was like a person no, or you're, something. No, bro, you're. I had such a headache. I took the headphones off. I Bro, got that's up loud. And I got dizzy. I laid on that bed for a little bit. That's very loud. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that could be why I'm literally losing feeling in my head right now, but, um, yeah. Well, what was going on down there? Do you uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I just heard knocking. I got on there. There was nothing. But you were saying shit like, come see me. And when you were saying that, there was knocking going on downstairs. It was wild. Um. So I took it off. And while I was laying in bed, I still heard it from the bed. At one point, it said my name. I was like trying to get you to come back. Yeah. It said your name a couple times as well. Yeah, I know. You were shouting it. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, remember how I mentioned I regret opening that locked door? Well, later on in the night, I woke up and I needed to use a restroom. Let's just say I didn't make my way to the bathroom and I ended up somewhere else. I'm just gonna let the footage speak for itself. Record yourself pissing. Jazz. Oh, it's cold. Oh. Oh. Fuck. The fuck, Jazz?
Hello? Jazz? Is that you up there? Jazz? Bro? Where are you? Oh, what the f Oh, I just noticed the door. Holy shit. Jazz, are you in there? Jazz? Bro? Where are you? you? What the f Oh, oh, oh. You okay? Oh, you scared the f out of me. Bro, what are, what are you doing up here? I have so much to tell you. Uh huh. But some crazy shit. I don't have a microphone. You probably can't hear me. Yeah, your microphones. Listen, bro. There's some weird things in here. A lot of weird things in here. Yeah. We want to go down, maybe we can go downstairs. We can talk about it, bro. What? You didn't hear that? No. Some, hear what? From that room. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't believe I had any sort of possession. I don't believe anything took over me. I just almost felt as if I needed to go to that room. I, it's very difficult to explain. It just felt like something was drawing me there. However, guys, it's time to get into the top three scariest and creepiest moments of 2023. This next experience was while Ben and I were camping. We went to this location that was having all sorts of crazy paranormal activity, like not just ghosts, but satanic cult rituals, um, many, many deaths by many different unethical ways, let's just put it that way, and just a whole bunch of strange phenomena was going on in this area. We decided to camp there, very bright of us, I know, and it was horrifying. And we are, once again, we get those comments, why don't you guys start a fire? It's illegal, guys. Yeah, it most is places illegal. you can't. Yeah. During the winter especially, I don't, I don't know, I think it's like dry wood or whatever they say. Is that the case? Or something? I think it's during the summer that is. Dry wood? Dry wood's the summer. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but they said um, it, it's illegal to have like... Stop the camera. They Why said... do you want us to stop the camera? <gasps> oh! No. Bro. Stop the camera. Um, and then. No, we keep on our own. Yeah. Switch to main channel. Okay. Uh, guys, we were just recording a little fun, the fun stuff for the vlog. And we were getting some pretty crazy responses while we were just sitting here. And then stop the camera. And then that happened. I know. Yo, hold on one. I'm just going to go just make sure. I'll be right back. Anybody out there? Well, hell no, bro. This is horrifying. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea, bro. Evil, what the? Well, the name that we got was Raymond right before, while we were vlogging. So Raymond, then he said struggle, growl. Evil. Stop the camera. Stop the camera, evil. And we, we are in a very, very evil place. Yeah. Damn, dude, I don't feel good right now. I, I like either. literally am... Can we go investigate that? Yes. Alright. You know what, Ben? You were the one talking. 
So I'm gonna hold the camera. I want you to speak. Okay. Down? All right, let's go, guys. Just keep it keep the whole thing going um it came from down here okay all right you ready yeah let's keep on going so was that raymond who made that sound is raymond evil or is raymond warning us of evil oh i thought you oh no no my bad my bad <laughs> just looking around just Hey bro, look. Why is there footsteps right here? It's like going into nothing. Raymond, is that you? Ben, you didn't hear that? You did not hear that? No, I didn't run. No, 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 you didn't hear that? It sounds like someone just stepped in the snow right next to me. False. Okay. Okay, so what was it then? What was that? It literally sounded like... Where are these footsteps going, though? Maybe they want us to stop. I died. I died. Maybe they want us to stop the camera so that he can demonstrate how someone did evil to him. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks, bro. I'm not turning the camera off. <laughs> Holy fuck, I realized what I just said. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, no, wait, no, no. Um, bro, just take a look at how horrifying this is right now. Okay, Raymond, I'm sorry you died, if that's what I'm talking to right now. Um, how did you die, Raymond? How did you die, Raymond? What if we come across one of the satanic rituals tonight? Oh god, please don't. No, no, I'm just saying, what if... What the f- Ben! That was a branch break behind us. Raymond, was that you? Raymond. Nothing after he said he died? Yeah. Really? Just nothing after that. That's odd. We were getting answer after answer after answer. I know. Listen, listen. Ben, over here. Just listen, listen. Footsteps. They're coming closer. Yeah. Lake. Lake? There has to be a lake here. We're gonna have to find this lake. <laughs> Let's find the lake. I mean, okay. So we could try to look on the maps and see if there's a lake like nearby in the area. And then um We should do that. Maybe we could head towards it. Earlier we also got the response church. So yeah. maybe I don't know, maybe some old buildings out here. Right. Bro, yeah. I'm not trying to freak you out right now, but I felt like something just breathed on my neck, on my right side, not your side, the other side. Oh, I got chills. So and that's right where I told you I heard the footstep, like someone was standing right next to me. Hearing something like that in the middle of the night is absolutely horrifying. What's even more horrifying is going towards where you heard it, not finding anything, not finding an animal, not finding a person. You start to wonder to yourself, what the hell was that? And it's always the what ifs. It's always what is going on. Now, we were hearing all sorts of strange noises like that scream. However, the scariest thing that we experienced happened very, very late in the night. I woke up in the middle of the night, had to use the restroom again. Guys, I know that's like a recurring thing. I have IBS. I can't help it. When I gotta go, I gotta go. And this is when something happened that... I can wholeheartedly say changes my view on life in general. Take a look.
240. I have to back. I'm just. Oh, what happened to the camera, bro? What happened to the camera? It's 2.40 in the morning. I'm gonna go, I have to use the bathroom like really bad. I've had to go all night. It just hit me like a truck. I'm gonna go, um, I'm just gonna turn this camera off cause we're gonna wake up in 20 minutes anyways. We'll let Ben get his last 20 minutes of beauty sleep and then um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, once I come back. Just grab my flashlight. There she is. All right guys. So I'm actually gonna bring you guys along with me. I go to the restroom. Not actually gonna record myself using the restroom. That's very stupid. Uh, but I'm just gonna bring you along with me. Now I apologize in advance. This camera's very loud for some reason. Like it's just, I don't know why, but I could see in the dark, which is pretty cool. But I also have my handy dandy flashlight. Um, 20 minutes to three, so Ben should be waking up soon. Um, yeah, but and this way too we could almost like we could investigate the rest of this but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn this off for a little bit and let's just kind of trek around let's do it Ugh. okay just hold her steady all right here we go Whew, is anybody here with me right now anybody that like to speak with me oh it's got really blurry actually i'm just gonna keep this on just so i can see where the hell i'm going came from this way we came from a really really long long path so anybody out here um, I also gotta find like a nice spot to to do my business if you know what I mean uh, I guess I'll probably just use like oh damn how the hell is this gonna work now we'll figure it out Anybody out here? Bro, this place, I feel like it's significantly creepier and creepier the more you walk through. Anybody out here? What was that? Okay. Oh crap, this camera's dying. That's okay. We'll just keep it for as long as I got. Uh, we went this way, but I think this trail goes many, many ways. I mean, there's so many ways to go out here. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my camera up and actually use the restroom. Um, so give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna put the camera down for a sec. All right, you guys are literally. All right, all right. So you guys are on a tree branch right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go off into the distance a little bit and do my 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 thing. So um, in the meantime, I'll keep this rolling in case you know you guys catch anything, hear anything, etc., etc. Um, in the meantime, actually. I got my handy dandy phone, my flashlight's on for some reason. Uh, turn on the Spear Box app, <sighs> Spear Talker app, and just have it rolling while I'm gone. So, here's this. Um, I will put this on this branch. Look at that. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, you got guys. I died suddenly. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? 
Hello? Uh, who's there? Who's there? Seriously, who's there? It's not funny. Ben, is that you? That's not funny, bro. Bro, that's footsteps. Who is that? Bro. Literally. Literally while. Damage. Damage. Literally while I was over there squatting, all I hear is branches breaking around me. I'm shining the flashlight around. I don't see a damn thing. I don't see anybody. What did it say? I died suddenly and then damage. What did you die from? Oh, my tummy. Ah. Bro, I hate IBS so much. Ah. Oh, this camera. Okay, this camera's gonna die any second. Wait, how? How is the camera gonna die if it's connected to the generator? Oh shit, it was pushed over. Oh, it must have unplugged. It fell, the camera fell. Oh my God. Bro, it's, it's like whatever the hell pushed the camera over, like plan for this to happen. Oh my God, my tummy. Bro, you did you not hear that? Those are footsteps. Yeah. Who's that? It can't be Ben. If Ben is over there in the tent sleeping. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm going to cut the camera right now, guys, because the camera's going to die and I want the footage to save. So I'm going to save the footage, cut the camera, and I'm going to go do my business. So, uh, peace. Wait. Larry. Larry. Okay, we got a name. I died suddenly, damaged Larry. Let me know what you guys think from th these answers and all the answers we've heard tonight. I um, really appreciate it. So, all right, see you guys soon. All right, guys, so. Oh my God, I'm not feeling too hot. I got up. Um, I have no idea where Jazz is right now. The night vision camera seems to be gone. It's unplugged from the generator. Um, and the first aid, first aid kit's out, bag's out. It's like three o'clock. I actually just woke up because the alarm went off. Um, and then I was like, "Jazz, Jazz," and he's not here. Um, kind of worried actually, and I'm a little nervous because I'm here by myself right now, and I have no idea where he is. So, I'm not really sure if I want to wait it out or kind of go see where he is. Maybe he's just, I don't know, like going to the bathroom or something. It is cold. Like, it was cold earlier. This is too much, bro. Oh my god. That's weird, the chair is knocked over. Oh, fuck. Hang on, guys.
Oh fuck it, it won't be, it won't be long, okay. Hey old Jazz! Jazz? Dude, what are you doing? Jazz? Uh... What the f I'm over here. Oh, where are you? Jazz? I'm right here, I'm right here. What's up? You okay? Uh, I heard you call from that way at first, and then you called from this way. I went to go take a poop. Oh. You good? What did you say you heard? Uh, I think I think we should get out of here, or something. I don't know. What's wrong? What happened? I heard your voice over there. You called from over there. No, I was right. It's coming from. No, you trail. called from over here. Yeah. You also called from. There's no way. I'm literally right here. I uploaded this video almost a year ago, and I still, to this day, have no idea how to explain what Ben just experienced. He doesn't know how to explain what he just experienced. He came out of the tent and he heard my voice from the left trail. He started walking down that trail, but then me, actual me, from the right trail called him out. Now, Ben's initial instinct was just to run that direction. And yes, we met back up, but what would have happened? What would have Ben saw if he went down that left trail by himself? It, that, that's the scariest part of all. Now, here's the thing. After all of that happened, Ben started throwing up. Ben started feeling horrible. I don't know if he was just genuinely so damn scared. Like, I, I don't know. However, we decided that enough's enough, and we decided to go back, pack up whatever we could, and head back to the car. Only problem was the car was about 25-minute walk from our campsite. We took whatever we could and I said, all right, Ben, when we get to the car, you stay in there, warm up, I'll go back by myself, get the rest of it, come back to the car again, and then we'll get the hell up out of here. So I bring back Ben to the car. We were hearing all sorts of strange noises around us. And on the way back, when I came alone, <sighs> this still freaks me the fuck out. While I was getting the rest of our equipment, I hear something rustling in like a bush behind me. Now... Initially, I'm like, okay, Ben came back with me. He's messing with me or something. I turn around, and there had to have been a seven, eight-foot-tall figure standing, maybe 10, 15 feet away from me. I dropped everything and ran for my life. I swear to you, it's almost like I didn't stop running for those 25 minutes. I stopped to gather my breath whenever the hell I could. Once I made it back to the car, I didn't even say anything to Ben maybe 10, 15 minutes of just driving, flooring it, getting the hell up out of there. That's how scared I fucking was. And <sighs> the good thing about that was I actually had the opportunity to leave. However, that wasn't the case for what you're about to see in my second scariest experience of 2023. This is my experience at Yorktown Memorial Hospital. This location in itself is just absolutely horrifying. It's an abandoned hospital with tons of horrifying history, satanic history as well. So you start to wonder, like, what exactly is lurking around these hallways? And there's even a church inside of this hospital that they actually call the Gates of Hell. They call it that because of the satanic rituals that I mentioned were performed in there. I don't understand either. I actually came here with my friends Angelo and Frank, and later on the night we decided to do alone challenges where we would lock ourselves into the hospitals alone and experience all of its hauntings alone. And this ended up being one of, if not the worst experiences of my life. I'm going to play the entirety of my alone challenge for you. I just want to say really quick, disclaimer, lots of swearing, 
lots of screaming, lots of running for my damn life. Take a look at my experience at Yorktown Memorial Hospital. All right, everybody. Um, it's the part of the night I absolutely dread. It is alone time. So I'm going to aim for like 20, 30 minutes tops in here, completely alone. Uh, Angelo and Frank are outside. And so Angelo went first. He had some pretty terrifying experience experiences. Then Frank went second and Frank actually got attacked. He has three like gashes on his like hip right here. And it just keeps getting like thicker and thicker. And it was really weird because when Angela was... Hello? Oh, I think that's them leaving. Hold on, before I begin. That's good. Um, oh yeah, they're over there. Hold on, I just saw their light. Okay, well, whatever. Um, it was really weird because every time Angelo got closer to Frank, the screen would get foggy and whatnot. I'm hearing all types of things right now. Um, I have a couple of uh, equipment items I'm going to use, REM pod, cat balls, and I'm actually going to continuously use the Spirit Talker app because we got some crazy stuff through this so far. So here we go. App is on. Let me make sure my sound is all the way up. And uh, here we go. That's rolling. So, uh, listen. Do I sound like singing? It might be coming from upstairs. Upstairs is the nurse's quarter. So let's go check that out. Okay, spirits. I like music. Oh my God. I just said I'm hearing like singing. And it says, I like music. Are you singing to me? Like out of nowhere, it just got severely cold. If that wheelchair starts like rolling down the hallway, I'm going to lose it. Okay. So this room was where the nurses would hang out, relax, uh, God, that just shakes me to my core, honestly. Amelia. Amelia, okay. Now we get a name. All right, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sit down over here. Please, please join me at the table. I'm going to nicely just put my camera down here, and I'm going to have a seat with you. And you know what? I'm a gentleman. Have a seat with me. Let's have some tea. Or whatever nurses like. Susan. Susan. Hello. Susan, it's an absolute pleasure. Susan, if you have anything that you want to tell me, please uh, come forward and let me know. Um, I'll tell you anything you want to know about myself. My name is Yasko, and, you know, I come to places like this for a living, basically, and I investigate the place. I get to know people who are potentially stuck or trying to get to the other side or maybe residing still here. This is their home. They don't know anything else but this. If you'd like to speak to me, actually, how about this? Let me know that you're here. Use your energy. Make some type of sound like this. Maybe touch me physically. Let me know that you're here right now. No pressure. Take all the time you need. Thank you, Susan. Pagan. 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 I believe it's a religion. I, or it's a type of belief, I think. I actually don't know. I don't want to sound stupid and say the wrong thing, but pagan. Okay. Um, Susan, or any of the spirits here for that matter, listen, there is a device at the end of the hallway. If you can make that go off, please come forward and do so. I heard someone singing earlier. Who was that? Was that you, Susan? Whoo! Oh, man. 
man, I just felt like something like touched my neck. Like a very sensual touch. Who was that? Oh man, okay. How long have you been here? 1700s. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy. All right, Susan, um, I'm letting my guard down for you, all right? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm just gonna give you full control. Come forward, make yourself comfortable. You know, just understand that I'm on your side and I wanna help you in whatever way I possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my eyes. And if you wanna come forward, if you wanna make any sort of sound, if you wanna to physically touch me, please come forward and do so. If there's any information you wanna give me, touch any of the equipment that I have here or down the hallway. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Susan. That's 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 what I want to talk to you about. Susan, I heard that there was a couple of nurses in here that uh, had a couple of bad uh, experiences, shall I say. I'm so sorry to hear what happened to you and to the other nurse involved. And actually, I'm sorry to hear about everything that happened here. It seems that there's a lot of malpractice and mistreatment that was going on in this building. If you want to talk about it, please just let me know how this, you know, affected you or how it, you know, hurt you. I'm gonna... S so I have a cap ball right here that moves on physical touch. I'm gonna to leave this right here on this chair. And I'm gonna have one on the table. Please. Make that go off. Let me know that you're sitting with me. Let me know that you're comfortable with me and that you want to talk to me in whatever way possible. <sighs> My chest is getting heavy. I have a bruised rib right now, cracked rib. I mean, it could be that, but like, damn, right now it feels tight. It feels like really like, it feels like my chest is closing in on me right now. Is there anything else that you want to tell me, Susan? It seems that you were like very badly affected by what happened. You had a bad life. You had a hard life. I mean, um, I have one question for you, if you don't mind. We will make a noise. You will make a noise. Holy shit. The spirit box just said we will make a noise. And then something moves in the hallway. Thank you so much, Susan. Or whoever that was. By you saying we, I know there's multiple of you. I want to get up right now and continue investigating the rest of this place, but we're getting some crazy, crazy stuff right now. I'm going to ask a couple more questions. I'm over here. Where are you? You said you're over here. Can you make a sound to let me know what direction you're in? To the left, to the right, are you sitting here with me? Sounds like you're in the hallway. Do you want me to come in the hallway? I mean, it seems like you're not sitting with me. Do you want me to come to you? Are you maybe in that wheelchair that's down the hallway? I'm asking way too many questions right now. I'm just really excited. <laughs> oh man. This is some amazing, thank you so much by the way for communicating with me. But my only question is, is there something evil with us here? Busy. Busy. I just want to know because sometimes spirits will act nice to get you to lay your guard down. 
And then once you lay your guard down, you're vulnerable. And once you're vulnerable, they can do whatever they want to you. And that could have quite possibly, you know, happened to Frank. He let his guard down and got scratched, you know? Poor guy. I hope he's doing all right. Hope he's doing all right. Um, can you let me know who hurt Frank? Does who does the person who hurt Frank have a name or a reason why they hurt Frank? It's really quiet now. Even the REM pods like. Completely. The crazy thing is the REM pods are going nuts. And all of a sudden, it's almost like it's moving away. Potentially. Potentially. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start coming uh, down the hall more. You said you're down the hall. I'm going to keep this in here. You keep on talking to me. I'm going to investigate the rest of this place. <coughs> I'm just shit in my pants right now because of the damn uh, singing that I heard. That's what scares me. This table. It's like a legit like table made for chess. That's so cool. REM pad's still on. All right, cool. All right, well, I'm going to head downstairs maybe because I think this is it for this hallway. Hell? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's kind of crazy because the owner, when he was giving us the tour, he said that... Oh. My gosh. It really said hell. Okay. Well, the owner literally said that he calls the chapel hell. Maybe it's indicating for me to go to the chapel. Maybe that's where I heard the singing come from. Like, this place is very echoey. Like, ah! Travels throughout the entire building, you know, so maybe I'll go down to the, the chapel um, I think you could go, yeah, you can go down this way as well Anybody in here is there any spirits in here with me just a bunch of chests a Couple of luggages Ugh. Oh, there's a, another floor. Okay, so this is like the... I don't even know what you would call this. Erica. Erica. Erica, were you singing to me? <sighs> Man, I just got like chills all over my body right now. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'm like super emotional right now. Ah, what is this feeling, bro? My eyes are tearing. What is this feeling? There's something here. Something or someone is here with me right now. Erica. All right, I'm coming down, Erica. Escape. Escape. All right, Erica, I'm coming down. Now, we, we got some crazy answers on the Estes method earlier. I just want to double check down here because I want to figure out where the hell that, uh, like, music was coming from. That's the one thing I'm wondering. I just realized something. Why is that chair, like, knocked over in the hallway? Huh. That was upstairs. Um, okay. Couple of things. You know what? I don't know what to do right now. I'm like at a loss. I'm genuinely at a loss. I'm so scared. I'm genuinely scared right now. You've got to be careful. Okay, will do. I will definitely be careful. Do, who should I be careful from? What was that? 
Who should I be careful from? Hello? Oh my gosh. I'm hearing all types of sounds right now. Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. You're scaring the shit out of me, Sarah. But thank you at the same time. Whoa. Bro, is it me or is it getting like extremely foggy right now? Bro, it is foggy as all hell right now. Bro, something is over there, and I'm like, oh, honest to God, I'm stalling right now. No, you know what? It's time I face my fears, bro. No, 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 no. Who's there? Sarah, was that you? Sarah, I'm coming down. Who's doing this? Who's making all these sounds? Feel. Feel. Yeah, I'm feeling many things right now. What is that? Who just touched me? Hold on. Before I do anything, I just want to make sure that the door is like completely locked. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, it's not. <sighs> okay, we move, we move, we move. REM pod still hasn't been going off, so there's nothing upstairs. Or at least I don't think so. Is that singing? I feel hopeless. I hear singing coming from down the hallway. It literally sounds like a woman singing. What the fuck is going on? I think it's coming from the chapel. Who is that? I said 30 minutes, right? We're at what, 20, 23, 20 something? All right, I'm coming in. Whoever's in here singing, I'm coming in, Erica. I asked earlier, you said it was an Erica. He said, you know what I'm gonna do too? Let's go. Great. Did you just say great as I'm closing the door? Is that great to you? All right. Okay, I'm hearing all types of things right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera right here. And what I'm going to do Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte, are you the one who's singing? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my camera here. I'm trying to find a spot where like I could sit down. Yeah, this'll do. Okay. Just trying to make sure my camera doesn't fall down. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Okay, let me make sure this is good. 
All right, how does that look? All right. Here we go. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for this. Um, we just heard Erica through this beer box. Um, I asked who was singing. They said Erica. And it genuinely sounded like a woman, like singing. Prove. All right. Well, this is your chance to prove to me. All right. Um, uh, I'm genuinely scared right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be 100% honest. I've never been more scared in my life than I am right now. This is... Something about this right now is making me so weak. Like, my whole body just feels like... Uh, here we go. Spirits of this chapel, spirits of Yorktown Memorial Hospital, please use all your energy right now. Use it to the, your fullest potential. Use it as much as you possibly can. Communicate with me. Make yourself known. Make some sounds like you have been doing all night long. I give you permission to touch me physically. I give you permission to... Is there, if there's anything that you want to tell me, tell me right now. Sit. Are you sitting next to me right now? Whoa. Whoa! What the fuck? No! No, no, no! My camera lag is on like a hundred... What? Bro, when they were doing the alone challenge, I charged my light. It's still... What the f... What is going on? What? Hearse. Hearse. Hold on. I think I have more lighting over here somewhere. You know what, actually? I'm gonna use Angelo's camera light. Please don't kill me, Angelo. It's for a good cause. I swear. Literally, I'm, I'm, I'm panicking right now. I'm like legit panicking. Angelo, please don't kill me. Okay, we got Angelo's light. There is, there's hope. There's, there's hope in society. I'll put the light over here. That doesn't really do much. Um, how do I? This, this does not make life any easier. How does that look? Oh my God, I'm panicking right now. They're worried too. I, just who's here with me? Oh my God! The devil is here! Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack, bro. Where are you? Bro, they call this room hell. This is a chapel. They call this room hell. And it just said the devil is here. My light just turned off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you give me a sign that you're here? You're the devil, right? You're supposedly the most powerful being there is, right? Give me a sign that you're here. Give me like a little something. Anything. Francis. Francis. Oh my God, what did they say that the pastor's name was? I almost feel like the pastor's name was Francis. I'm gonna, oh, oh my God, my head. Oh my God, my head, oh my God. Oh my goodness, hold on. Beatrice, ah, uh, oh my goodness, 
my head. <sighs> Who's here with me right now? Who would... <sighs> okay, let me just calm down for a second. Wait a second. Bro, Angelo's light just turned off. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, help me right now, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. I'm running out of light to leave. What did that just say? Alone. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say. Bro. I'm so scared right now. I... This is the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced. All I have left are these. Angelo's light died on me. This light died on me. You know what, actually? Devil's here, right? All right, devil. Where are you? Sit down with me. Oh, man, I might like really pushing it. What's your name? Give me a name. Okay, okay. Composure, Jazz, composure, composure. All right. I heard singing earlier. Am I losing my marbles or did I actually hear singing earlier? Can you, can you at least tell me that? Okay. That was a thud. Was that like a yes? That was a response. Listen, listen. Sounds like footsteps. It sounds like footsteps literally right here. Who's right here? Fred, is that you? I have never been so scared in my life. I'm genuinely telling you right now. This is a different type of energy. This is like something I've never ever experienced in my life. Mabel. Mabel. M-A-B-E-L. That's a very beautiful name you have. Mabel. Listen. Bro. Hold on. What? I literally feel like I'm going crazy right now. I'm very happy. <laughs> of course you are. Oh my god. I'm hearing all types of things, bro. I heard singing earlier. I heard banging. I heard all types of things. The Everything is just going wrong. I think I'm going to end this session right now. I, I genuinely don't think I can hang any longer. I'm, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Thank you so much for communicating with me. It, it was quite the experience, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Who, who's, who's singing? Where is that coming from? I'm taking my camera, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Ah! 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 Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get the fuck out of here! That location and that experience genuinely fucked me up. For a while. I was traumatized and I genuinely was just thinking like, what the hell is going on within those hospital walls? And you guys have been wanting me to go back. So I'm gonna make a deal with you. You get this video to 20,000 likes, I will fly to Texas and I will go back to Yorktown Memorial and film a part two. You have my word, 20,000 likes and I will do it. I'll literally do it within a month. I will fly to Texas and do it. And I will even spend some time alone. You have my word. Now, that location, What the fuck was that? Please tell me you guys heard that. 
I'm home alone right now. No joke. What the f Oh, my days. Okay. Um, well, before we get into the number one scariest and creepiest experience of 2023, make sure to smash that like button, guys, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Here we go. This is the cabin in the woods. This was a location that Ben and I went to three times. We had to continuously go back because each time we would go there, we would end up running, screaming for our lives how scary the place was, even on the third time. This is a location with so many questions, so much activity, so much darkness that it it's impossible to cover in one night. You have to come back here and you have to experience it numerous times to just get all of it. But let's start from the beginning because within minutes things were happening that genuinely gave you a feeling of danger. It felt as if there was someone around you, someone watching you the entire time. So just take a look at what happened when we walked in for the very first time. So we haven't went inside yet, but you ready? Let's do it. Alrighty. So guys, I haven't told Ben any of the history of this place yet. And yeah, you're really quiet on the way over. He's kind of like it, it's, shaking it's your head wild, and saying, no, no, no. So I was actually invited to come here. Uh, someone told me about the history here. Now this cabin has been for sale many times in the past 15 years. Every single time someone moves in, they have reports of really weird things happening. Some more extreme than others, but there right. are reports of, for example, some of the mild ones are something goes, you know, missing. Something moves from one side of the room to the other. Um, you know, slight slamming of doors or something. To some more extreme of night terrors, uh, every single night, they see a shadowy figure outside of some of the windows. You know, huh. sometimes... That's freaky out here. Yeah. I can't wait to be inside. Me neither, uh, bro. We brought all of our stuff up here, and but our main, you know, worry was the car, because if things get bad, we gotta go, we gotta go. Exactly, bro. Bro, this place is crazy. It's sick, bro. Here, I'm gonna put my stuff on this table. Me too. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're good, bro. No, it's just a heavy one. Okay. Oh my, look at those sliding doors. Bro. Wow. I'm gonna check in here quick. Oh, it's a nice little room. I called dibs in this bedroom tonight. Oh, yeah, you get hey. the king bed? <laughs> we could share. All right. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, sorry. All right, let's check over here. Yo, what's this thing? Oh, maybe like we could see it move. We could ask the spirits to make it move or something. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, actually, let me take my jacket off too. Good idea, bro. Yeah. You gotta grab the camera from here and see. Oh, look at you. The one handed oh, man. You know me. Okay, cool. We're used to carrying this beast around. You gotta get, gotta get, need that. Bleh. Gotta get good with one hand. Sorry. TV's on. It, is it, it on or is it? Uh, touch it, see if it goes static. Bro, I really think this TV's on. Well, the red button at the bottom. Give me that. Is it any? No static. That's really weird. That is really weird. House on 59? Come on. <laughs> we need like a... 59? 70. At there least. There we go. There we go. Oh, now dude. Another bedroom. All right, we're good. We could definitely split. And what's in here? Oh, bro, I think it's a basement. It's def oh, oh, shit! What the f Uh, bro, I explain that, please. I was hoping you could. Does it maybe like spell something out? <laughs> That'd be a little freaky if it did. Um, they missed one. Where maybe was that? Maybe even? it was like I didn't even see it. Where was it? Well, that's the thing. Like maybe it was like 
on the edge of the shelf, I guess. Oh, dude, I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. This is a nice be bedroom, too. Um, let's clean this up in one sec. I just want to finish inspecting. What is this room? Hello? What's that sound? Oh, shit, Ben. What? Come check this out. Oh. Bing bong, bro. That is bing and bong, dude. We're sleeping in here tonight. I gotta deal with your farts. I gotta deal with your farts? What do you mean? I know you're gonna take the top, bro. I will, 100%. I knew it. <laughs> I didn't even ask. No, this is great because, like, we could put our camera up here and record if anything happens overnight. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, sick. Hey. All right. Um, let's clean up all this mess that happened. Yeah. And then um, <clears throat> probably start investigating for the night. And then I'll tell you guys the story of this entire place right now. My friend Ben and I were sitting down and we were trying to share some of the experiences that the homeowners have had and also share some of the history of the location when something fell off the wall. We went to go investigate it and this is when we started putting the pieces of the puzzle together of what is going on at this location. You know, really sitting down and... Because these experiences do take a lot out of you, you know? Yeah, bro. But you can tell when there's good spirits there, bad spirits there, and you can definitely tell when there's something evil. And we 100% think that there is something evil in this cabin. Absolutely. Maybe even something demonic. It, it reminds me a lot of, like, the Shanley. The yeah. Feel, the feeling you yeah. get when you're at the Shanley. Or... Like, you can almost... The f Bro. Ben! Did someone just break a window or something? What the fuck was that? That was definitely a window. Hunter... What window? Hold on, hold on. Yo, yo. Here, grab a flashlight. I'll okay. grab a camera. Okay, sorry. Hello? I came from one of these rooms, huh? God. These windows aren't broken. Jazz. What? Over here. What? What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. There's a hole in the switch. There's a hole in the wall. Um in the bathroom? Okay. The fuck? Yeah. I'm um, you I mean I guess. Like the nail? Yeah. Nail. Oh. When I do something right, no one remembers. When I do something wrong, no one forgets. That's kinda creepy. Damn that. Creeped up on me, touched me, scared the shit out of me. Um What's with the hole? Oh. Can I see the flashlights we're going to? Yeah. Sorry. You know what's really weird, bro? What? Look at all the holes in the wall. One right there, one right there, one right there, one right there. Almost like there's multiple things on the wall kind of like trying to cover this up. Maybe it just kept falling for some reason? Maybe. I had like a bunch of different like objects they tried to use Maybe. to cover the hole. Oh, there's something in there. What? Besides like... Yeah, some looks like some plastic. Careful, it could be like a uh, like electrical thing, you know? I know you know your way around this. the wall stuff. Here, I'll turn my camera on. We're gonna have to do it like this so the flashlight turns on. Okay, here we go. What Something's in there. I don't know, something like... It was like an iPod. Maybe it is. Let me check up too. Did it maybe fall from like the top floor? Oh no, it's covered. Very interesting. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, okay. Um. I think I'm good to put my hand in there. Yeah, be careful, but yeah. I should have gloves, but... I mean, for an iPod. Honestly. The noisy wall. Yeah, it's like plastic -y. Jesus. I gotta drop it. Hold on. 
What the fuck? It's a Ouija board uh, planchette. planchette. No, 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 Ben, no. Bro, if someone put that in the wall. What's the last thing we were just talking about? If we think that there's something evil here, something demonic, bro. What if the Ouija board that was once used was used to conjure the spirit up, bring you here? Bro, all the hairs on my body right now are. St I mean, what if what if that whole story about the this burial ground thing is all bullshit? What if it's just like get these guys to come here, plant a ghost here? Like, what if there's a bunch I of cursed shit? I mean, like, there's all that stuff up the stairs. And there's stuff. a there's a dead body. Not dead body, but like a, like a... I was going to say, what the hell did you see? There's like the... The, the urn. The yeah. urn, bro. I know, some, some there's stuff There's all happened. kinds of weird stuff, like, scattered around this house. I know, the spear box did say that it's like a burial ground, though, remember? You're right, it did. There, this might just be a historical place, like, tons of... You know, hold on. I just want to... Why is there so much weird wait, shit? Wait, 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 wait. Board games. Bro, think about it. Last time that fell... Right? Yeah. Maybe maybe there's a Ouija board here. Oh yeah. Duh. What the fuck is Swamp Monster. Oh shit. It's like a story someone wrote out about Swamp Monster. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, here's story time later. Um Nothing. Nothing. Dude. Usually, when you're done with an Ouija board, you, you call it quits, right? You're supposed to separate the Ouija board from the planchette. Yeah. What if someone buried the Ouija board into the forest on the burial ground? Maybe that's why it's so upset. Think about it, bro. Like mixing spirits, bro. Like and you're... last time we were here, the Ouija board said numerous times, ancient, burial ground, sacred. Think about it right now. You're right. And you know what's the freaky part about this? It what? almost, like, with all the holes that are in the wall, it almost seems like they tried numerous times to cover this up. Like, numerous times. So many questions arise. Why was that in the wall? Why was something covering it? Why did something uncover it? What is going on? Was something summoned here? Is something evil here? Like, now, things go zero to a hundred because a million things are going through your mind. And... We decided to push on forward, and that's when we found the second piece to the puzzle. Means, bro, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to like think first. What? Like sitting on like uneven parts of wood, I think. Hold on, yo. Hold on, look. Is there like something? It feels like there's. No fucking way. No... Guess where I am. Oh, fuck, I don't want to. Bro, there's no Ouija board in the attic underneath the. Oh my god. an old board bro this is a very very old board and I think this is because I saw the other one said Salem Massachusetts on it this one says Salem Massachusetts on it as well oh my god hold on before we go any further can you please tell us any more information about this about this board right here was this used in a negative way to summon something negative Maybe the EVP will catch that. Bro, it sounded like something was like 
Ja. Yeah. Sound like footsteps. Who was that? Who was that? Dude, I like legit feel so I'm not using this Ouija board, I'll tell you right now, I'm not using it. I refuse. I feel like not knowing what's been done with it. That's the thing. Like, we don't want to get ourselves involved into something we can't get ourselves out of. It, was, it seems like there's a reason they separated the pieces. They hit them. Poorly. Poorly. But they tried. I feel sick to my stomach. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I just... Many. Many. Hold on. I just said, who, that, who was that making all that sound? Many, many footsteps. Yeah. Hello? Anybody down there? I wonder if even the current owners know about the Ouija board. Probably don't. They haven't been here long. I don't think they even know about the stuff up here. Honestly. I don't know. I mean, there's so many different families in those photos, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, you know what? Let's go back downstairs. I'll bring this Ouija board with us, but we're not going to use it. We're not using it? No, absolutely okay, not. I refuse. Is there anything else you want to tell us before we head downstairs? Let me fix this light for you. Oh, sorry. Thanks, pal. Oh, dude, this picture is like... Oh! There's a date on the back. What is it? 1896. Oh, that wasn't that long ago. No. Oh. About 127 years ago? 26? Yeah. Bro? Is that book? I've been watching <gasps> you. I've been watching you. Okay, that's enough. All right, we're going to head downstairs now. Uh, thank you for communicating with us, uh, but enough's enough, okay? We're coming back yeah. down. Um, if you've been watching us, are you watching over us? Or are you... True. Thank you. What are you watching us over for? Or of? All right, you know what? I'm just going to head downstairs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Of and the. Uh. Okay. Um. Hey, uh, Ben. Yeah. Did you shut the lights off before we came up here? I don't remember them being off, and no, I did. No, no. Okay. No. Here, I'm gonna. You wanna grab the, the yeah. Ouija board? I'll hold this. I'll grab the camera. I'll go okay. first. Switch with me. Mhm. Mm Here's this. Just take a look. You sure you didn't turn the lights off? I'm pretty sure. Uh, bro? What? One of the lights is swinging. What? Look, come here for a sec. Look at that light right there. Hey, you're is the heat the grade. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Bro, 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 the door, the bro, door, the door. The f I'm again. <sighs> what are the spear box? Bro, I'm, I'm shitting my pants. I'm shitting my pants. The grave. Bro. Bro. We said, what are you protecting us from? Remember? Yeah. It said the grave. Something that was maybe messed up from that grave site. The current owner said that there was a grave site that's been disrupted. It was a, oh my God. They're protecting us maybe from something that, okay, bro, can you hold this? Yeah. Here, I gotta make sure. Hang on. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> um, yeah. thank you. Okay. Luigi board. Mama Luigi. We gotta find this burial ground bro later. Yeah. Hello? Okay bro, I'm gonna go investigate that door really quick. I'm gonna switch to my camera quick. Okay. Because just to make sure Yeah, Ben, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I, um, 
I'm pretty sure that we turned the lights off. We did what? Or no. Did we? I can't remember. I can't remember. Well, we did it for, we did the sit down. Do we turn back? We definitely turn back on. I don't remember. I don't know, bro. Bro, th this is just wood. It's just wood. How? It doesn't make sense, Ben. It doesn't make sense. Hold on. Spirit talker. We got to... Spirits of the cabin, can you please let us know who that was that closed that door? Please. Do you have that Ouija board? Yeah, the Ouija board right here. I want to give it to the owners. I don't know if they know about it. They never said anything about a Ouija board or a planchette. Oh, you get rid of it, maybe. All their problems go away. Oh, I got all this. Bro, look at my hands. Ew, all dusty and black. <sighs> Damn, I can't remember. We gotta listen to the EVP. We also had to check the tape to see if it was on before and if we shut off the lights. Yeah. Hide. Hide. Oh. From what? Are you hiding from us? What are you hiding from? Can you show yourself? Wait, what did I say upstairs? It, it takes different shapes, right? Okay. You take different shapes. Um, what are you in the shape of right now? Are you in your true form? Can you check under the bed for me, Ben? Just like, make sure. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> no, just a bag. Okay. Nothing in it. Bro, it doesn't make sense. Say almost? Wait, almost. Are we getting close? Okay, hold on. My next question. I said there's a bag and there's nothing in it. It says almost. It could be almost nothing. True. But really, there wasn't anything in the bag, so. I'm thinking, bro. I'm thinking it wants us to come outside. Because remember, think about it like this. This is the closest room to the outside area, right? Maybe that's why the door keeps. Because it's trying True. to signal us to go. It is significantly colder in here, by the way. You know, it's a lot colder. Yeah. What? Out into the abyss. Oh, the yeah. Outside. I guess you're right. Do you yeah, wanna... you're right. It is colder in here. Do you want us to come outside? Run now. Run now. Absolutely not. <laughs> Run now to the outside. Let's <laughs> get our jacket. Here we go. <laughs> I'm thinking the logical thing to do, right, is to get some sleep uh -huh. and then head out there 3 o'clock in the morning, right? Is that smart or stupid? Everything we do is stupid, Jess. Okay. Um, alrighty. Well, spirits of the cabin, we're going to go to sleep. If you would like to show yourself... While we are sleeping, please do. Um, we will leave an EVP running all night long and a camera. If you'd like to communicate with us while we're asleep, please do. It's not like a footstep in that corner of the room. Are you in here with me right now?
Oh, bro, I have such a bad feeling about everything right now. Like, the most horrible... Yeah, me too. Upstairs, the Ouija board. Like, this is too much. Why underneath the carpet? Why in the wall? Like, they're definitely trying to sp split them up. Right? Yeah, of course. But that's like... Maybe, maybe they thought that no one would ever just look in the wall, I guess. Whoever placed it there. Because... Caroline. Oh. So that's who Caroline. placed it there. That's not the current owner's name. The okay. past owner placed it there. I can ask her. Let me ask. If Caroline was the one who summoned something, conjured something, right? Yeah. It was conjured. Oh what my the? god! Oh my god! What the f What the fuck? Keep in mind, the stairs to the attic are thick, heavy, wooden stairs. Just keep that in mind. We've been to this location three times, right? And each time we came here, we've had all sorts of scary experiences. For me to put this into this video, it would make the video about six hours long. So if you want to watch the full videos to that, the links will be down in the description below. What you're about to watch is the scariest thing I've ever experienced in 2023 probably all time in general. The amount of fear I felt from start to finish was absolutely horrifying. I, I'm gonna let the footage speak for itself. Um, take a look. Ben, 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 Ben. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, you wake up from a fucking knock? You don't wake up from this? God. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I almost walked into that. How the f maybe I didn't close it properly? Ben, you awake bro? Walking. Is there anybody in here? Okay. Who's up there? Or what's up there? Right, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I can't really see much, but I'm coming up. Okay, holy shit. What was that? Hello? Who's over there? Oh my god. No, 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 oh, no, fuck, 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 oh my god, I can't see shit. Ben, Ben, we gotta get out of here, Ben, we gotta get out of here. Oh, shit! The fact that the stairs opened up, the fact that the door slammed in my face, the fact that Ben was standing there and he had no idea that any of that even happened, he had no idea, he wasn't even awake. Like, putting all of that together in that short span of time, genuinely, I... I was so done. 
I ran, ran. I said, screw my equipment, screw this, screw that. I eventually came back for it once I was calmed down and everything. But the amount of fear I felt in that span of time, I can't even put into words. And that is my scariest clip of 2023. Let me know what your scariest moment, your favorite moment of 2023 was from this channel. If you disagree with my list, please let me know what you think should be in which position, whatnot. This is obviously my opinion, but damn, what a year it's been. Just watching these clips over again gets me excited for this year in a very weird way. I know that's very weird, <laughs> but I can already tell that we're going to have some crazy experiences. Once again, thank you guys for an incredible 2023. The memories we've made, the experiences we've had, and the amount of screams that I've let out have been insane. I can't say thank you enough. And with all that being said, cheers to 2024. Let's make this another crazy year. See you guys in the next video. And thank you again to Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use that link in the description box for a special offer. I'll see you guys in the next video.